I've been running Omarchi now for the last two weeks as my daily distro for all work-related needs. And I kind of want to go over the workspaces, how I utilize them, what's my workflow like. And if you also watch the installation video, you remember up here, the sound module, there was a question about that. It didn't seem to work for me. And then also with the input methods up here, it also wasn't working for me right out of the box. So I'll show you how I fixed that but let's go into the workspaces. This is my workspace setup and I always put the same things in the same place because of muscle memory. If it's something random that I'm using, I always put it at the end. So number one is always NeoVim, two, Alacrity, three, browser, then four, virtual machine manager, five is X, Twitter, <laughs> and then six, chat GPT, Number seven, I can't show you that because it's my any type and that's all my work related stuff. So check out any type or ask me in the comments to actually show you how I use any type. But right now I can't show you. Uh, and then number eight, as I said, is always something random. And so um, something's cool is like control, super, and then space to switch between wallpapers. Really like that. And so there's such a plethora of like if you go under learn and then key bindings and as you can see i changed all my key bindings to left alt uh, and uh, i really like that because it's better for the thumb and so if you watched my installation video you would know that what else have i changed well i removed some of the packages that came with it like cups i never print from this machine so i just removed it and then the web apps uh, some of them I removed. I use ChatGPT, WhatsApp, X, and YouTube. So that's really all that I've changed from the default install. If you want to add a secondary keyboard to your Omarchi setup, you can do it in two ways, and I'll show you both. So .config hyper, and then you change uh, input.conf, and then you can add the keyboard that you want. I asked for Icelandic, and then this is how you toggle between the two both alt keys at the same time. Another way to do it is to go up here and right click the input method local and then press configure. And if this doesn't come up for you, you need to install this package right here. This is the package that you need to install FCITX5 config tool. I have no idea how to pronounce that, so I'm not even gonna try. And after you install that, then you can actually go up there and uh, let's close this and do configure. That was not working for me out of the box, but now you know what to install. And then also you can, now I can just click it right here. And the default is also, if you wanna use the keyboard is control space. And then you can see how it pops up here. English, Icelandic also changes up here. Pretty neat. Initially, when I went up to the sound module, there was nothing in output devices, input devices and configuration. And so the audio was working fine because during the install, I selected Pipewire and the Pipewire was installed. The service was running, audio was coming through, but nothing was listed here. So I checked and Pulse Audio was the default audio server. So this is how I changed that. I installed Pipewire Pulse and then it just asked me, do you want to uninstall Pulse Audio? I just say yes. And then just remember to go and then enable the service. And I also just rebooted the machine. And after I did that, everything came up and uh, was working right here just amazingly. Let's talk about the good things and the not so good things. And let's start with the not so good things because it's super short. It's one thing. It has nothing to do with Omarchi at all. It's actually Hyperlock and it's been dying on me super randomly and it's been driving me nuts. And while I was debugging it, I just killed the process for it. And then I took a screenshot of it. I put it on X, follow me on X, yeah. Uh, and I actually got replies from people saying, yeah, I'm having this exact same issue with Hyperlock. So uh, that's the only thing that's been annoying. And I completely uninstalled it. I'm gonna use Swaylock, but Hyperlock just looks amazing. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reinstall it, but for now, no Hyperlock. And so let's talk about the good things. The rest for me personally has only been positive. I've seen new tools, new ways to do things. I've been learning, I've been adapting as well. And then also just, of course, this is a super opinionated thing that's coming from DHH. And I take his recipe 
And of course, you always sprinkle, sprinkle something on top. You make it your own and adjust it. And so that's why I really love this project. I forgot one thing, DHH, or if somebody from your team is watching this, I would add to the Omarchi manual, which is stunning, by the way, uh, something about sound, like the stuff that I was running into with the sound module, like maybe a few like debug things or how to completely switch to pipe wire if you're not seeing the input, output, recording, configuration stuff, um, something like that. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna make another video in about two weeks about my journey with Omarchi, but I have to let you know, my setup is super simple. I don't run 22 monitors. I have one monitor. I primarily work in the terminal. And so if you're having issues and experiencing something totally different than I am, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments or reach out to the Omarchi team and let them, let them know and they can help you out and also put it in the manual. But if you need help with aliases or whatever in Omarchi, just let me know in the comments. I'll help you try, help you figure it out. Or if you want to ask about my setup and hey, how did you do that? Yeah, just reach out, let me know. And until then, peace out. Appreciate you. Bye.